Hey guys, this is a demonstration in card control by Ricky J. It looks like this. We're going to have the four aces in our control for the time being. And then we're going to lose control. We're going to take the four aces and one by one we're going to lose them into separate parts of the deck. Like this. And you can see here they really are in the middle. We'll shuffle the cards up like this. And a lot of people, when I'm shuffling, they ask me, well, Chris, how do you cheat? Well, the question isn't how do you cheat, isn't how do you win, because that's pretty obvious. You just got to get the best cards in your favor, and if you're a card shark, that's not too difficult. The question is how, as in what method, do you cheat? That's the real question that they should be asking, because if you were in downtown Miami, Florida, or something like that, and you're in an old... You, they, they would shuffle in the old-fashioned way, like this, just a, a little overhand shuffle. Uh, if you were in a high-class New York bridge parlor, you might see someone do something along the lines of this, which is basically just a simple riffle shuffle with a little bridge at the end. Um, I believe majority of the world uses this shuffle, which is pretty basic. Um, and then if you were down in the States, uh, if you're in Las Vegas, you'd see uh, a flat table shuffle because at this point, no one could peek the cards and no one could actually, you know, glimpse at what exactly, like where the aces or where the jacks or where the queens would be. So this is the most procedurally safe. And then if you go into weird geographical locations in the world, they play an odd combination of uh, draw poker. And what draw poker is, is you have you'll have half the cards face down and half the cards half the cards face down, half the cards face up. And like I said, they play an odd combination of draw poker where basically they'll shuffle the cards into each other in this weird, odd mixture. So you have some cards that are face up, back to face, you have some cards that are face down, and it's really just a horrible mixture and it's awful to try and fix. Uh, but, like I said, this is a demonstration in card control. What does this mean? This means that at this point I can make three exact statements of fact about the deck's order. One is that even though the aces were mixed up pretty well into the deck and in separate portions, right now they're right next to each other. The second is that they're in the exact dead center of the deck. And the third is that to make this easier for you, I straightened out every other card so that you could actually see what I've done. 